There is a multitude of astonishing and unexplainable phenomena that defy human understanding. Many of these mysteries have been investigated by dedicated scientists. However, despite their efforts, the secrets behind these discoveries continue to elude explanation to this day. In this video, I invite you to explore some of the 13 most remarkable discoveries throughout human history, each one brimming with fascination and mystery. In the early 1990s, a Buddha statue the size of a seated person was sent for restoration to one of the Chinese museums. During the work, the restorers discovered human remains inside. Thanks to scientific research, it became clear that inside the statue was a mummy of a person about 1,000 years old. According to scientists, the remains belonged to a Buddhist monk named Lu Kuan, who practiced the tradition of self-mummification. This ritual involved the complete renunciation of a person to all material possessions. In other words, to achieve true peace, Lu Kuan spent most of his time motionless in the lotus position and adhered to a special diet until he died. As scientists believe, Liu Chiwan's main priority in his diet was the refusal of cereals. Instead, the monk ate nuts, berries, pine needles, bark, and tree resin. Gradually, the diet became as strict as possible, resulting in the loss of body fat and moisture, and some of the herbs and leaves slowed down decomposition. This practice was very common among Buddhist monks. However, this was the first religious servant found inside a statue. Imagine the surprise of a resident of the Turkish province of Nefser when he discovered a mysterious room during the renovation of his house. Entering the room, he entered a long tunnel leading to an underground city of eight levels. Later, it became clear that directly from the man's basement, it was possible to access one of the deepest ancient underground settlements, the city of Derinquio. The deepest level of the eight went underground to a depth of about 85 meters. Inside, the city consisted of many tunnels that had everything necessary for a relatively comfortable life. Residences, shops, food stores, cattle stables, and more. The city also had a ventilation system. Derinquiu could accommodate up to 20,000 inhabitants and protect its residents from enemy invasions. The exact date of the city's founding is disputed among scholars. According to the Turkish Ministry of Culture, Derinquiu was built by Phrygian tribes in the 8th to 7th centuries BC. According to another version, the city was founded by the Hittite Indo-European people between 1900 and 1200 BC. In 2003, in the abandoned town of La Noria, in the Atacama Desert, Chile, artifact seeker Oscar Munoz discovered a mysterious white package, inside of which was a strange mummy. The creature resembled a human but looked much more like a humanoid. The mummy was only 15 centimeters tall, its skull was elongated, and instead of 12 ribs, it had only 9. Its incredible resemblance to aliens brought popularity to the mummified creature, which ended up being called the Atacama humanoid. Scientists from Stanford University began studying the mummy in hopes of confirming that it truly belonged to a representative of an extraterrestrial civilization. However, the result of the DNA analysis showed that the Atacama humanoid is a human, specifically a female child who died shortly after birth. The girl had multiple mutations that made her look very much like an alien. Her mother was Chilean and most likely left the child's body wrapped in a white cloth in the desert no more than 50 years ago. Atacama is one of the driest deserts, so the body left under the scorching sun was naturally mummified. It would seem that the mystery of the Atacama humanoid has been revealed, but some scientists continue to doubt the reliability of Stanford University's research. Miners from the De Beers Diamond Mining Company had to drain one of the lakes in the Namib Desert during work. They found a well-preserved ship. Later, it was discovered to be the Portuguese ship BOM Jesus, which was on its way to India in 1533. During a severe storm, a shipwreck occurred, as a result of which the ship was thrown ashore. It is believed that there were about 300 people aboard the BOM Jesus, including wealthy individuals and their servants. The cause of the shipwreck was bad weather and severe overloading. In the ship's hold, an incredible amount of gold and copper products was found, over 22 tons of copper ingots, thousands of gold coins, and over 50 elephant tusks. The total value of the treasures found is estimated at over $13 million. Interestingly, it was this territory of Namibia that was named the Skeleton Coast. Dense fogs, storms, and the cold Bangela current create incredibly dangerous conditions for ship movement here. Sailors who managed to reach the coast after shipwrecks were stranded on the shore in a drought-ridden desert. The total length of the desert along the west coast of Africa is 1,900 kilometers, so surviving here after a shipwreck was almost impossible. In 1901, 
Near the island of Anakithera, Greece, the wreckage of an ancient ship was found containing many artifacts, including a strange mechanism consisting of a main body and gears. It was only in 1951 that this object piqued the interest of English historian Derek de Sala Price, who speculated that the mechanism was a computing device. Price devoted himself to studying the mechanism in detail, taking over 20 years to recreate a copy of the device and conclude that the artifact was an astronomical instrument capable of modeling the movements of the Sun, Moon, and possibly also Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Another 40 years later, English mechanism study expert Michael Wright confirmed Price's conclusions about the purpose of the device and also added that the mechanism is capable of modeling the movements of Mercury and Venus. Additionally, modern technology allowed determining that the device could perform arithmetic operations and take into account the ellipticity of the Moon's orbit. The Anakithra mechanism surprises with its complexity, being able to predict certain celestial events. The technology of this device is comparable to the technology of mechanical clocks from the 14th century, although the Anakithra mechanism itself was created in the 2nd century BC. In 1974, a unique sculptural composition was found by a Chinese farmer to the east of Mount Lishan, the Terracotta Army. Sometimes referred to as the Eighth Wonder of the World, this title is indeed justified. The Terracotta Army is a colossal artistic creation, consisting of 8,100 soldiers, archers, and war chariots in full battle armor. Each of the sculptures is made life-size from clay, fired in a kiln. All elements of the composition were handcrafted, and none of the statues were repeated. The weight of the human sculptures was around 150 kilograms, and the horses weighed over 300 kilograms. The most astonishing components of the structure are the chariots made of bronze and adorned with silver and gold, each consisting of over 300 separate parts. The terracotta warriors stand one after another, their faces pointing east, exactly in the direction from which enemies most frequently attack the country. Surprisingly, the composition maintained the order of a real army. In the front row were the infantry, followed by cavalry, archers, officers, and commanders. In addition to the warrior statues, clay statues of high-ranking individuals, birds, and animals were also found. The idea of creating a clay army belonged to the first emperor of the Qin dynasty, Qin Shi Huang, who reigned from 245 to 210 BC. From his 13th year, he decided to build his own tomb. According to his idea, the terracotta warriors were to accompany him after death. Over 700,000 workers and craftsmen were involved in the construction of this wonder, and work on the composition lasted 38 years. Playing in the jungles of Papua New Guinea in 1972 during helicopter exercises, Royal Australian Air Force personnel accidentally noticed an aircraft in the Agayambo Swamp. When the discovery was meticulously studied, it was found to be an American heavy metal for engine bomber the B-17 Flying Fortress. These planes were produced from 1936 to 1945. During World War II, they were used by the Royal Air Force of Great Britain and the United States Army Air Forces. Their main purpose was the daytime strategic bombing of German industry. The B-17 found in the jungles of Papua New Guinea had been there since 1942, so its captain, Frederick Fred Eaton Jr., was forced to make an emergency landing after the plane was attacked by enemy fighters. The entire nine-person crew survived. Fortunately, a month after the crash, the captain and his team were spotted by one of the locals, who escorted them to his village, from where they could safely return home. Surprisingly, despite the damage sustained, the plane did not suffer severe corrosion. It is now in the Pacific Aviation Museum at Pearl Harbor. By the way, the plane was nicknamed the Swamp Ghost because during rains, the aircraft lying in the tall grass was nearly impossible to notice. During a severe drought at Lake Vedern in Sweden, a local resident named Andy Vanisek was installing buoys near his house to warn boats of the low water level. His eight-year-old daughter, Saga, was helping the man. By chance, the girl noticed something that looked like a sword hilt on the bottom. Upon lifting the strange object, she realized she was correct. Together with her father, they handed the sword over to experts at the Jonkaping Museum for study, after which it was discovered that the artifact belonged to the Vikings and was about 1,500 years old. Despite its antiquity, the sword was well-preserved. Now, experts are working on its restoration, and soon it will become a museum piece. Following the sensational discovery made by the girl, researchers began to study the area near where the discovery was made and not in vain. A buckle was also found at the bottom of the lake, whose age coincided with that of the sword. 
However, it remains unknown how the sword and buckle ended up at the bottom of the lake. On the night of March 28, 2020, residents of the large Nigerian city of Akure couldn't sleep well due to a massive explosion near residential buildings, resulting in over a hundred houses seriously damaged. When rescuers arrived at the scene, they saw an incredible giant crater with a diameter of 21 meters and a depth of over 7.5 meters. But what caused the explosion remained unknown. Local officials informed citizens that the crater was formed as a result of a truck carrying explosives that were on their way to a neighboring region. However, no traces of ammunition or military equipment were found at the bottom of the crater or in its vicinity. Moreover, the explosion of a truck certainly could not have caused such a large crater. Therefore, people refused to believe this statement. Another possible cause of such a powerful explosion could be the fall of a meteorite. According to astronomers and geologists, a large meteorite passed through the atmosphere at a speed of over 85,000 kilometers per hour and struck the Earth at an angle of 43 degrees. This assumption could be true, as it turned out that NASA indeed expected a meteorite to fall to Earth in March-April 2020. Companions of this meteorite were the asteroid 2012 XA, up to 400 meters in diameter, and the asteroid 2020 FJ4, up to 10 meters in diameter which passed Earth on March 26. Interestingly, this incident was scarcely reported in the media, except for the initial version of the truck explosion. In the forest near the town of Zavadavasai in Bosnia, an impressively sized stone sphere was found. Its diameter is 1.5 meters, and it weighs approximately 30 tons. This remarkable discovery was made by Bosnian archaeologist Samir Osmanagic. The researcher believes that the mysterious sphere is not a miraculous creation of nature but an ancient artifact from an unknown civilization that lived in the territory of Bosnia over 15,000 years ago. This is indicated by the high iron content in its composition, a perfectly round shape, and its proximity to the Vasasica mountain. Osman Ajik believes that Vasasica is a true pyramid, similar to the Mayan pyramids of Mexico. Therefore, he conducts much of his research in this area and hopes that the sphere will help him find another pyramid and many ancient artifacts that prove his theory. Interestingly, the one and a half meter sphere was not the only stone sphere found in Bosnia. Similar spheres, but of smaller diameter, have been discovered in Maglic and throughout the territory of Zavadavasai. Local residents believe in the power of these spheres and think that it is thanks to them that they have strong health. Scientists have their own theory about the origin of these spheres. They suggest that the round objects are iron concretions formed during the compaction of sediments and coal deposits. Over time, the layers turn into a ball as the substance is equally deposited in all directions. However, this theory, like the theory about ancient civilizations, remains unproven. In Central America, near the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexican researchers have discovered a plethora of artifacts belonging to the legendary Mayan civilization. Incredibly valuable discoveries, some up to 10,000 years old, were found in Mexico's largest underwater cave, Sac Acton. Deeply submerged were human and animal remains, among the most unique were bones of ancient sloths, bears, and gomphotheres, which existed before the onset of the Ice Age. According to scientists, this cave was a kind of trap from which neither animals nor humans could escape once they fell in. Additionally, fragments of ceramic plates, engravings on walls, and religious objects belonging to the Maya were discovered at the bottom. The Sac Acton Cave has not yet been fully studied as it connects to another underwater cave, Dos Ojos, and its total length is about 350 kilometers. It is quite possible that Sac Acton is also connected to three other underwater caves, further complicating underwater research. Modern technology allows for the study of the artifacts found without removing them from their natural environment. However, at the moment, Scientists are focused on studying the biodiversity of the cave, which is filled with low oxygen water, allowing for the analysis of the age of the findings with minimal error. For scientists, the discovery and study of this cave are very valuable as it will help to better understand the culture of an ancient civilization. Researchers have even nicknamed Sac Acton the mother of all cenotes, natural water-filled caves. The Maya were a very religious civilization and believed in life after death. According to their beliefs, such caves were a kind of portal to the realm of the dead. It is quite possible that indeed Sac Acton was not a trap but a true site of funeral rituals, leading the dead to the world of the dead. Another incredible discovery was made in southern Norway, near the town of Halden. Archaeologists studying the area with ground-penetrating radar noticed a 17-meter object underground that had the shape of a ship. 
Upon further investigation, it was discovered that indeed a ship over a thousand years old had been buried precisely under the farmlands of one of the Norwegian farmers. According to archaeologists from the Norwegian Institute for Cultural Heritage Research, the ship was used to bury a wealthy and influential Viking warrior. However, it is still unknown if there are human remains and artifacts inside the ship. Now, scientists intend to begin excavating the ship. Its study will help shed light on previously unknown Viking burial rituals.